Normally, we introduce you to meteorologist Tony Lawback, Storm Saga Sunday, but this time he's here with us. Tony, what do you have in store for us tonight? Well, we have a lot of fun in store for us tonight. November is typically one of my favorite months of weather, not just because of the winter storms, and I kind of got back from one here the first one last week, but as we get into this month, we kind of get into a transition period here, and November has served up not only some terrific winter storms, and I've chased some all over the country, but has done some with some incredible tornado chases as well. And we're going to start you off this month with kind of a teaser of these chases that we're going to talk about all month long. The month of November, a month one typically associates with much colder weather. Winter storms become the norm, and I have chased my share of them during this 11th month of the year. I've covered storms that have wreaked havoc in the Midwest, documented major winter storms in the Sierra Nevadas, and who can forget my share of Cakeland storms just in the last couple of winters I've been through here, most notably that intense blizzard back in 2018 that shut down a large chunk of I-70 up near Salina, one of my favorite snowy events. But when it comes to November, this is the type of stuff you definitely think of weather-wise. But this month can also have its springy, stormy side. In fact, I've had several incredible tornado chases during the month of November over the years, each of them historic in their own rights. This chase in 2011 down in Oklahoma, known to chasers as Quake NATO, bagged me my first ever November tornadoes. Two years later, I watched a couple of tornadoes in one of the biggest November outbreaks across Illinois and Indiana back in 2013. These storms have been moving so fast today, it's been hard to keep up. Then came this beast here in Cakeland in 2015, a day which stands as one of my favorite all-time tornado chases and was the largest tornado outbreak this far west this late in the year. And coming up this month on Storm Saga Sunday, I will detail each of those three incredible chases starting next weekend with the Oklahoma Quake NATO chase and kind of tell you exactly why we call it Quake NATO. I look forward to sharing these events with you over the next coming weeks. I will see you next weekend right here on Storm Saga Sunday.